Hey everybody, this is Aaron Murakami with uh, Jeremiah Forwarda, and we're sitting here in our uh, new shop here. Uh, Jeremiah is going to be moving his operation from Idaho here, and we're going to be working on the Tesla turbine projects together. Um, we are having the uh, conference still. It's going to be July 6 to 10. Excuse the squeaky chair. We oiled it, but not enough, apparently. And um, But the conference will be July 6 to 10. So go to energyscienceconference.com. Jeremiah is going to be doing a presentation on uh, the Tesla turbine. It's going to be, you know, possibly um, Nikola Tesla's thermodynamic transformer, which is what the Tesla turbine is, and it'll probably be a part two and everything's going to get taken to the next level. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but first of all, we want to mention your new website, new company name. Um, re re recently, MyTeslaPower.com. Yeah, because recently your partner. Is the website. Oh yeah, my, my partner passed away, um, and I had a lot of difficulties continuing to use my other business. Um, I had to move out of my old shop and that's why I'm here in this shop with, with Aaron. Um, but yeah, we're, we're getting, we're getting a new, we're, we're getting a new little or a new place to work or I get a new, getting a new place to work and, uh, we'll have a new boiler, a new condenser. We'll have volumetric flow on the inlet and the exhaust so that we know those are the two parameters that we were missing in my last testing. Um, it was just due to time and money that I didn't have those, those parameters. Um, but I do have a video, I do have a video that I'll be publishing soon that shows my last testing. Uh, so I, so this is the new, this is the new turbine right here that we'll be testing. It's a, uh, it's a metal turbine but uh zoom in on that we're going to make some changes to it to tune it in and soup it up it's one of my older older designs there's nothing wrong with the, with the design but i'm kind of zoomed in on it if you want to rotate it like th slowly 360 degrees so i can see all the way around it i know we showed this in some videos in the past at the old shop where uh, you basically showed how to assemble it mm -hmm. and uh you want to point out the you know inlet outlet and Oh yeah, Which so here's the, what? these are, it's got two inlets right here. Um, it's separated by, the first stage here is separated by a small opening. And I'll take this apart later and show more details about it like we did in the past. Um, but I'll be replacing the, the discs with carbon fiber. The, one of the issues that we had with this rotor is we couldn't really get it balanced very, very good. Um, so we will be built, we will be, um, I made a bunch of improvements like rubber races around the bearings to absorb shock. Um, I'm going to build the Tesla balancing machine, but a lot more proper now. Um, I needed precise control over the RPM which I couldn't really get with the compressed air that I was using how, how much in the in, past. How much in parts do you think it'll cost to build the balancing machine right? Um, probably $900. $900. So about $1,000 and are in Patreon, are people able to donate like a specific amount or is it just the monthly? Um, it's, a, it's a monthly thing and I, I, I'm pretty sure there's an option in there to um, say just pay what you want but there's there's four different tiers mm -hmm. um there's and you can go to patreon and, and look at those those tiers but there's one on there um that's uh well there's one on there that's 150 dollars a month and people can talk to me and i can help them with their project and give them advice or just explain the system mm -hmm. um, over a phone call and that that tier has been helping me out a lot and as soon as your new uh, LLC is set up and we have the UBI number and everything will be mm -hmm. I'll help you set up uh, so many other accounts but you will have a new PayPal account and people can directly just send you know yeah. PayPal, donation and, PayPal keep, keep, donation and keep in mind it is a for-profit LLC so donations to Jeremiah's work are not tax deductible. Is mm. you know if you 
but if you want to support his work, you can see he's obviously, you know, sharing the information and the knowledge through, you know, YouTube and wherever. Yeah, and it's, it's still open source. Yeah. And the one thing about YouTube is um, the updates come a lot, a lot later because the patrons are supporting me so much. They deserve to see everything before, mm -hmm. before or the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And so I haven't posted a, a YouTube video in a long time. And that's just because of all that stuff that happened with my my partner passing away and having to move all my stuff out of the old shop and trying to figure out how to get a new where to get a new shop. And then Aaron decided to let me come work in his shop. So now I've got a shop. I'm all set up again um, to go full throttle mm -hmm. on the project. And um, we have a really nice turbine here. So. We will be building another turbine as well, a six inch um, or a, a five inch turbine um, with a pump, both separated with two stages. So this is, that will show the, this one has both the pump and the turbine on the same shaft. We'll compare the differences Are between the like performance. Are you coupled? Uh, one. Yeah, well one, <clears throat> they'll be run in series. So your turbine will be mm -hmm. here, your pump will be here and the exhaust of the turbine will go to the inlet of the pump. And then um, you can spin the pump up to full speed with a motor. And I built a three-phase motor, high-speed three-phase motor that's really efficient that I'm going to put on the pump. Get the pump up to the full speed before I, before I turn on the turbine. So the back pressure in the uh, or the the vacuum in the turbine will be almost a full 100% vacuum. Mm -hmm. It'll get rid of all the vapor pressure that is in the condenser side that, that's, that's filling the turbine. It'll get rid of all that vapor pressure, which isn't a lot of vapor pressure, but when you turn on the turbine, you start to get buildup of uh, vapor pressure in the exhaust of your turbine, and you want to drop that almost to nothing. And that's what the pump will do. It'll keep the pressure in the exhaust space of the turbine as close to zero as possible. And that's exactly what Tesla describes will bring the turbine's efficiency or the turbine's performance from 50% to 100%. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, directly out of um, his high vacuum patent. Um, uh, it's text, a quote, directly from his uh, high vacuum patent. Um, and nobody's ever hooked, it, hooked that up to the turbine. So my last test was just a single turbine with no pump. And so now we're going to be showing the turbines with, with the pump and contrast the power difference. Mm -hmm. And also we'll be able to run at higher temperatures. To I had an issue with my other turbine because uh, it was made out of plastic. And even though I was running at 212 degrees, Fahrenheit maximum, um, I did have uh, some issues with the Lexan kind of warping in a little bit on the casing. We won't have that problem here. Um, another interesting thing is we were we were running the turbine alone, and we will have we have I have that video that I'll publish. Um, but I had that the single stage Tesla turbine. Um, we. When, it, when we were running at 160 degrees Fahrenheit, um, we got 450 watts of power. We kicked the temperature up 40 degrees to 180, um, to 180 degrees. And the, or that was 200 degrees, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So, sorry, 160 to 200 degrees. 40 degree in, increase in temperature, and the power went up eight times to 400 watts. So, um, huge, very small temperature change, very, very big mm -hmm. power output um, to the turbine. So you get a little more pressure, but you get a lot more viscosity because steam, when it, or gases, when they, when they heat up and when they're hotter they have a lot more viscosity and it goes up exponentially with temperature the viscosity of the steam and that's how the that's how the turbine works 
works with viscosity so of course um, you want that steam to be a little bit hotter than what we have uh, been running it. Now it's possible with enough vacuum in the cold steam system it's possible that we won't need to go over 212 it would probably be plenty sufficient but to have the ability to t test all those uh, different temperatures is, will be really nice and also you can get a lot more power out of these things with a slight with a slight increase in temperature so if we want to show more power or get more power um, we just increase the temperature just a little bit and now we can test all that with this turbine um, I will be replacing I don't know if I said this but I'll be replacing the discs with carbon fiber and balancing this rotor really well and I'll have the demonstration ready uh, at the conference mm -hmm. but you will see I will have blog posts and updates on my Patreon. Um, and then, so compared to last year's demonstration, you had a pretty big tank mm -hmm. and all that. So this will be a lot more streamlined. Yeah, last year smaller, I didn't have um, I didn't have like the volts and the amps and the watts. I just showed me powering a light, um, just a basic light, or a basic set of light bulbs, and I didn't have a whole lot of power when I was testing that last year it was basically just to show the basic concept and this is going, going to show um, the, the temperatures in the temperatures out the volume the flow the as volts and watts this all it will be able to tell exactly what's going on with the turbine mm -hmm. so that's the biggest difference and will show a lot more power produced mm -hmm. with the turbine so yeah I also, I guess I should thank all my patrons that have been supporting me so far because it, I've been, I'm on a whole different level with having that patron support. Um, it prevents me from having to go get a job and using, spending all my time or a, a, spending all my time somewhere else to, so that I can support myself. Um, I can do full time with the turbine and that's thanks to Thanks to my supporters and my patrons. And, yeah. and so, the, again, the, Jeremiah's new website is myteslapower.com. And if anybody goes to the old website, iEnergySupply.com, it'll just redirect and forward to the new one, uh, myteslapower.com. And go through, check out the links on there. It's very basic. Um, there'll be more products in the shop at, a, at, at some point. Right now, there's just some digital downloads, a couple free ones and a paid one, which is Jeremiah's presentation from the conference. You can download the free uh, panel discussions that Jeremiah was in in the 2020 and 2021 um, Energy Science Technology Conference. And so we'll be putting up some updates. We also greatly reduced the cost of the ticket. And if you want to come to the conference, we're limiting it to about maybe 50 people in person here. We want to do live streaming. We're trying to get all the costs for that figured out right now. We just boosted our upload speed here um, well beyond what we actually need for live streaming. And so if you only want live streaming, don't purchase the regular general admission ticket because we're not going to downgrade it. Uh, there's not going to be a partial refund. So if you buy a ticket, plan on coming um, and stay tuned for when we open up for uh, live streaming tickets. Um, we're just getting those logistics worked out right now, and as soon as we have it, we will announce it. And I know Jeremiah will pass the info on to his network and all his Patreon supporters, and for whoever wants to come in person and you know see it live. Yeah. So. So everything will eventually be on YouTube, but um, to see it a lot sooner, you yeah. go to Patreon and message me anytime on Patreon too. Yeah. So, and yeah, thank you, Aaron, for sure yeah. helping me out. With all this. And then once Jeremiah is in the shop here, um, our guy who does all of our CNC work for a lot of the parts for our multi-wave oscillators that we manufacture here, he's bringing his 8,000-pound uh, CNC mill. Uh, we have already a couple lathes and a couple manual mills, metal brakes, shears, you name it. You know, it's going to be a full machine shop. Um, we already had a full machine shop. It's just all manual, and we'll have the addition of the uh, mill. Jeremiah will have his CNC router table here. Yep. You know we can make use of. Um, so basically, 
there's just like nothing we can't fabricate. Yeah. Right, right here, and all the wow. resources, you know, all the uh, manpower resources, and the skill, and the knowledge, and everything is, you know, um, kind of a uh, developer's uh, dream come true to, yeah. you know, have access yeah. to all this right on right <laughs> on site. So, however, we can support Jeremiah in moving the projects, you know, uh, forward faster. Um, we're definitely going to do that. So.